what's up? It's me, Sam's Little Victory here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last part, we did the Forsaken Fortress in its entirety in one part. Kind of boring, honestly. And this part, we're gonna see what's going on down under the sea. There's someone using the Gossip Stone that is nor Tetra nor the King of Lions. And I just want to mess around with Tetra a little bit. She's hilarious. In, you know, AI quirks. I want to make her do funny things. Come over here, Tetra. <laughs> Whatever. No, you don't, you don't act, she doesn't actually have to follow you, thankfully. They're not that cruel. They really just didn't give a crap at all about the AI in this one section. That really doesn't matter. Yeah, she just teleports. A uh, fun fact, there is a side quest that uh, involves taking a picture of every character in the game. Or every, everything in the game. And this is the only time when you can get a picture of uh, Tetra. So yeah. Uh, let's see, is this place open? Yes it is. No more block puzzles. Let's check down here. Maybe, uh, hopefully if not down here then uh, by the invisible wall from last time. What's down here? Oh, Cutscene. Oh. Shit. Are you him? Are you the one who's speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an ancient, uh, enhanced version of the Gossip Stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it? The royal family's Gossip Stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legends of the great hero? place where the power of the gods lie hidden. This place, the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. Plot twist! And I am its king. Darkness! The handsome Hyrule. I hope I said that right. Samantha, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the King of Red Lions. So many plot twists. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadow by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil deeds. My power alone could not stop it, the fiend and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with the torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that this, to seal the people away with the kingdom would be the to grant Ganon's wish to, for the destruction of the land. So, before the stealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge of, on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So as long as Ganon was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. When did Tetra get involved in all this stuff? I guess it was a dead giveaway when we found all the Triforce in a room. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages, ages with the, within the royal families of Hyrule. Your mother passed down... Wait, your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. And she already knows this because she was told... Oh, never mind. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must be... But, yeah, excuse me. Must abide by the laws of the past. And so the time has come for me to teach you the fate in which you were born. The very reason you live. Just like 
the past is so awesome. the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last to link the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I am... a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Samantha! I am terribly sorry that you have been caught up in all these events. Now that it is known that Tetra is indeed that, that's the wrong character. Now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Gan will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of God that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. It has success. It has su uh, what? If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Samantha, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. You bet your Bunston, Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you want wait here in hiding until we return. Whoop, he's teleporting now. Samantha, we must go. Why is he teleporting? They really couldn't make a walking animation. And there he goes. He's teleporting. Samantha, he teleports more than the Ganon from the, uh, the animated series. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. Eh, don't worry about it. You just sit there and look pretty. Samantha, be careful. It's interesting how she just gets all nice and less pirate-like when she turns into Zelda. She just acts not even close to the same. But anyway, yeah. Have fun down there, Zelda. Hope you have enough air. Uh, yeah, the invisible wall's still there, so let's just head out to the uh, open land, open waves, and yada yada yada. And then do whatever the heck King Reliance tells us to do. Ah! Now we react. Before he was just lifeless, now he actually does something. Samantha, listen well. I guess he, like, the king, like, uh, you know how to, like, you, uh, possesses the mind of the boat or something? Because when, that was weird, because when he was down, that's actually really interesting how he, when he was the king of the lions, he wasn't animated at all. He would just stand there and stare into the abyss, but now he's actually looking at us and talking. That's I don't know if that's actually programmed in there for a reason, or maybe it's because he has something to say right now. I don't even know. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who would fuse the blade with their god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must heed for these two temples, head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages in an attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temple. But each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, 
We shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, like, purposely programmed that or something. That's cool. Anyway. Yeah, we got two more, uh... I can't check the map. Weird. I guess this place doesn't technically count as the Great Sea. And up we go! Yeah, we got two more dungeons to go to. Fun! Up here we are again. And it's gone! Samantha, do you know the legend of the hero of time? Once, long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Triforce was given to the hero of time and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the hero of time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at the, at the time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. The Triforce of Courage is the only key that will once again open the doorway to Hyrule. You must search for it. But not the temples. So it's like, they just shove two objectives onto at once. That's weird. Yeah, one is uh, at Gale Isle. We've already been there. One is down at the... Uh, the Wind Temple to the north. And one's are down here on, uh, this big. So I thought it said Shark Island, but no, that's, uh, the one above it. Anyway, uh, we have absolutely nothing to do in particular, right? Well, we can, we can progress the story a little bit. In fact, I think I will. I'll save this episode for a complete story progression, so I will head to, uh, a place we haven't been to yet. Take the Wind Waker. No, that's the wrong song. Get warped somewhere. Uh, this is a place we already talked about a little bit. But I'll elaborate on a little more after we've been there. Battle of the Gale, I think that's what it's called. Yep. We have to head to this uh, unexplored sector. I think we can go here now. I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is what we need to do next. And here, um, as I said, we cannot get the Forsaken Fortress from this area, so this area is a little special in some ways. As you can see, it is locked in, so we cannot get out of here, and we can't, can't get in either. Seems to be something special in here, obviously. We wouldn't have warped here otherwise. Oh, it's, uh, it's a Ganon 2.0. Coming from Sparkles. We should kill it. Oh, Great Fairy? No. Uh, it's a Demon Child, obviously. Hello, Demon Child. Hee hee hee. Tell me, little boy. Can you control the wind? Oh, uh, what's... We're none of your business! Hee <laughs> So young to have such power. How do you know... How did you know to find me here? I am the queen of the fairy world. Weird that you look younger than all the other fairies, then. What is the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, young one? I like you. And so I shall give you new power to the bow that you wield. Oh, you killed that innocent great fairy doll that you, I guess, got patented or something. Made in the factory. I guess you have a lot of free time in here if you just kind of sewed it or something. You know, sewed it up. And it's fairy, use tackle! Other fairy, use tackle! I guess it hurts to be... Uh, given the power of fire and ice, the power of the fire and ice have been added to arrows! Yeah! When you take out your bow, use R to change arrowheads, then fire away! No ice fun, but a fire fun? That's lame. Is it just me or is she like twitching? Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flame, fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child, I must tell you, you are just my type. <laughs> That's a little, uh, incredibly creepy. Eh, I won't lie. I'm kind of. She's just my type, too. And she falls over and dies or something, I don't even know. But yeah, fire and ice arrows. That's cool. Uh, would have been even cooler if it wasn't for this creepy fairy lady. 
But yeah, we press R, go off the fire and ice arrows. A lot easier than in Ocarina of Time, where you had to go to the start menu and wait for that long animation that takes longer than every other item. Goes, and then equips your friggin' uh, C button. But it's just R, R, R. Yeah. Pretty simple. They just are fiery. Or icy. They do special things on special things. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah, now we can just leave. There's nothing else to do here. Uh, if you try to go here before being the Forsaken Fortress, uh, she'll just be like, uh, come back, come back later, we're closed. Uh, where can we go now? I have no idea. I really, uh, it's, uh, 16, 17, uh, yeah, like 16 minutes in. Uh, should we do side quest? Story? I have no idea. Uh, I should really practice this, this game. Or look it up or something. Uh, man, I have no idea. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll do a little story. Uh, where do we need to go? I think. Yeah, uh, there's two islands we need to go to before we can head to either Gale Island or this one down here. The forest and, or the wind and, uh, Earth Temples. I believe the Tower of the Gods is pretty close to them. And since we're at the Tower of the Gods, you can also, uh, get the treasure chart here, or the map fish. It really bugs me that there's just one spot that I forgot that is really annoying. Yeah, alright. Now that we can actually look at the map, unlike when we were warping, we couldn't really look at the map at all for some stupid reason. East, no, that's not it. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, that one. And I think this one. I have the uh, place of these Let's go to this one first. Uh, I probably should have went to Dragon Roost, but since I'm here. Eh. Look at that. Yeah, let's go get that map fish. Do, do, oh, okay, this up. And here we are on Tower of the Gods, the bigger than the zoomed in picture of it. I've done a fish fortune on you. What? Fish fortune? Small fry. And what for and from what I can tell, it looks like your fate to come this place marked many times. What? I did not read that correctly, but whatever. The keys that control the fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yep, they're some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy, Tingle. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now, I know I may be may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncan uncannily accurate. You'd better believe me, small fry. And that's all the crap I got to you got to, I keep saying crap. Not, oh, I didn't want to do that. Lame. That's, uh... Like three rupees I just lost there. It sucks. All right, now let's head to Dragon Roost and head south to the place under it. Do 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 do. Alright, now that we're here, uh, actually we should probably end the video, but there's, uh, one thing I want to do real quick, guy we can talk to on Dragon Roost. Uh, yeah, there's some, yeah, there's a guy we can talk to here, uh, doesn't really advance the story, but it's a side quest thing, and, you know, we're on Dragon Roost, pretty far the way, far out of the way island. You hear, you, uh, you hear that? You hear, uh, Medley playing the harp. Nice. It's not like they're playing it amazingly, just kind of strumming chords, but you know, it's all right. Better than nothing. Where's this guy? Probably should look this up. Guy? No, I think he's upstairs. Yeah, I think I might be this guy. You, be a guy. Hey, I know you. Yeah, you're the adventurer guy. Sailing from island to island, action, excellent, excitement, right? So all the adventuring you do. Did you happen to find a golden feather? Yes, yeah, the guy I'm looking for. 
My girlfriend, she wanted one of those things for, my, for the longest time. For the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. Uh, well, we've got you covered, buddy. Guy I don't know. I've got 23 of them. Take them all. Take them all. I'm just giving them away. Hey, that's what my girlfriend wants. A golden feather. So how many of those do you have? So are you really going to give me 20 of those? Sure, you I mean you said one, but, you know, 20 is fine too. Really? Are you sure? Yes! I'm gonna go stick these little beauties in the letter and send them off right away. I'm going to tell her all about you too. I'm so happy. Seriously. It's not much. But please accept this. Yeah, no, not much. Just a, just a hundred rupees. Yeah, that may seem pretty pointless, but we will be getting a reward from his girlfriend in the future. Chugga chugga choo choo. Yeah. Wait, I just, I just gave him 20... No, never mind. I thought I thought I had 24, but no. I had uh, 23. So yeah, that's uh, this episode of Legends of the Wind Waker. I'll see you guys next time where we head down uh, south of here. If you remember what's here, uh, you may be you may know why we can go here now. Uh, it involves the fire and ice arrows we just got. Hopefully you remember what's south of Dragon Roost. Yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Now we can end this video off with the soothing sounds of Medley's Harp.